you really need to see this if you value your time. So if you have a Digitech 2, this tool right here called Elkherd, made by M0, is going to be a lifesaver. And not just a life saver, but a live saver. Basically with this tool, this is the perfect project and sample management tool for Digitech 2 and also for Digitech 1, by the way. Basically what you can do, you can gather patterns from different projects into one new project if you want. You can restructure, reorder, the sample pool in a project, the sound pool in a project, you can reorder the patterns within a project all on one stream. And I'm going to show you how the tool works, how to set it up and uh, what it can do. So let's go. So the first thing I want to men mention is that this uh, is the, the URL here um, that you can see right here on the bottom, right here. And another thing that I really need to mention is that this tool is completely free for you to use, which is insane because the amount of time that went into creating this and the support he has given over the years, because this was already available for the Digitech one, is incredible. Every time an update comes out for the Digitech or the Digitech two, he needs to update this software to make it work again, which is a lot of, it's, it's a time investment next to his normal life basically and the fact that he made it free is just beyond beautiful it's it's so generous so please um if you start using this software and you like it donate give the dude a beer or a six pack i'd say give it a, give it give him a six pack man uh, at the very least because this this software is worth more than free basically so having said that Let's have a look at my Digitect first. So, Digitect, connect a USB cable, right? So far, so good. Let's go to settings, all the way down to system, and let's make sure that the USB config is at least set to USB audio MIDI. Overbridge will probably also work, but I, uh, I just work with uh, USB audio MIDI. So, there we go, that way we can have a look at Elkhurt. This is the the first page you, that you will see. Um, this is like the only software <laughs> where I'll uh, enable send user data to M0's server because I, I know the dude and uh, yeah, he can definitely be trusted and uh, I'm all for helping to improve this software in the future. So get started. Here we can see all the MIDI coming into my computer. Uh, and you can see Electron Digitech 2 is already selected and we can just click manage your Digitech 2. If for some reason it doesn't show up or something, you can re click repro, um, but yeah, it's fine. So manage your Digitech 2, by boom. And now it's going to basically fetch whatever is on the plus drive here. We can um, look at the complete pool of samples on our plus drive. So this is my folder, drum grids, drum hits, uh, projects containing all these samples, right? And we can send sample file, we can get a sample file, we can scan the plus drive again, etc. We can also manage everything, we can rename. So I can select this for instance and rename drum grids but uh, for now I'm gonna leave it like it is. We can move folders, we can uh, create a new directory, move to trash, empty trash, etc. So there's a lot of, for the plus drive only, it's already very useful to have an interface like this and be able to manage this. This pretty much does what transfer can do as well, the, the original transfer application from Electron. But it's still nice if you are going to use the project management might as well use this as well, right? There's a neat little help here. Um, one thing that is nice though, is that you can find duplicates. So if I press find duplicates, I can see here simple duplicates. These samples are the same. So there you go. I could remove one of these, right? It's not needed to have two of those on the plus drive. Just as an, a little bit of information, if you did, don't know, the Digitech 2 creates a hash from based on the waveform of a sample, and that is used to load samples into a project. 
So if you move a sample around on the plus drive or you delete it from the plus drive, then load the project, it cannot find it, right? Then put the file, the sample file back on the plus drive and then reload the project, it will find it again because of that. You can even rename sample files, doesn't really matter because the hash that it created based on the waveform is the thing that connects a sample to a project file. So that is sort of good to know. So having a duplicate is not needed. Nice. This is basically a dream for anybody who is performing live. If you have a project or multiple projects and you need to gather multiple patterns from multiple projects into one project to perform them live, basically on the Digitech 1, this was more or less impossible. It is possible, but it was very difficult. You had to copy a pattern. So, you know, you can just go here, copy this pattern load another project and paste the pattern right there. That's possible. But then, of course, it won't play any samples because the samples are not copied with the pattern. That's kind of the problem. So then you needed to manually load the samples into the new project file and relink all the audio tracks to that specific sample. But if you are also using sample locks, Right, if you have a different sample on a different step, for example, big problems occur because you know that takes a lot of time. You have to go through all your sequences to make sure that all the parameter locks that you set to sample slot are now pointed to or to the right sample. A lot of work. So this this tool, I can fetch a project. So I clicked fetch project. So I'm fetching project, and here we go. So now I can see the patterns within this project i can see the sample pool with the banks this is actually new functionality that wasn't there before because the digitech 2 adds uh, eight banks of sample slots which is wonderful and the sound pool which you can see i don't use that much uh, yet anyway so with the digitech 2 there is sort of a workaround where you can save a kit right you can save the kit of a of a project right here save a kit it will save all the presets of this pattern and this the yeah associated sample file. Then go to another project where you copied the pattern to and then load the kit on that pattern. And it will also import any samples that are associated with the kit. So that 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 kind of works. It's still, you know, you have to load the project, load the other project, load the other project, etc. Back and forth twice per pattern, which is still a lot of time wasted plus any parameter locks pointing to sample slots with different samples and stuff will break. So you still have to manually add those. So enter elk herd. Um, it will, I can just, you know, press import project for instance, right? So the, th the, the way this works is this is the current project that I uh, fetched. Now I can go to my Digitex. I can load a different project. I will, I will load this. Yeah, let's save this as well. So now I loaded a different project. There we go. Let's go back to Elgort. Now I can go back and press import project. I need to do one more thing uh, because you can see that I don't have any room left on the, this project because I have all these in, entitled uh, patterns. This is because I this is based on a old project that uh, was uh, that I created on a Digitech One, so I still have all these untitled um, yeah patterns. You can also select multiple patterns by holding Shift and clicking, just like you would you would expect. Uh, also with command or control you can select some multiple patterns like so right and then just click the cross to remove them and clean this up a little bit well yeah I'm not gonna do them all but you get the idea um, you can also press compact items I'll get to that a little bit later you can also sort items and stuff but let's let's go back to the import thing so now I created a little bit of room I can press import projects do, 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 do. and boom we get this screen and it says select the items to import the project 
to the project. Then click import. Reference samples and sounds will also be important if needed. Right. So I'm going to click coffee. I'm going to click wrak and rot. Right. So these are the patterns that I want to import. And you can immediately see that if I select a pattern, the associated samples are also selected and will be imported if needed. You can see that three will be imported. And you can see here zero will be imported because all these samples are already available in the other project. But if they are not, they will be imported, right? And also good to know is that this the selected samples include any sample locks that are used in the pattern, which is wonderful. So this saves so much time, it's insane, right? So let's import these. Import. Baboom. Rot. Vrak. Coffee. And you can see that it still uses, it shows the samples that are used by these um, patterns. It's it's really that easy. I can now save the, the file to my computer as well. Uh, we can also import files from the computer. But I can also immediately send this project to my Digitech 2, which I'll do a little bit later. I still want to show you something really, really useful. And that is that we can... Um, select unused samples so if i do that you can see that these samples are not being used in this project that's quite some this is sort of a project i'm currently working on so it's a little bit of a mess so you can see here that these are all the samples that are not being used and i can remove them but boom now they're gone right and i have all these empty spaces in between the samples that are still used which is a bit messy and now I can basically click this compact items and boom, it will, and here as well, compact items, it will make this whole list neat again. And I can also s sort them by name. So now every sample is sorted by name, which is also quite useful actually, um, because yeah, it makes it a little less messy you can also sort them by path sort by path is very nice because if you uh, structured your uh, samples on the plus drive neatly then you get all your bass drums in one go here and all your hi-hats and stuff for me it's still a little bit of a mess because i have old projects that i imported in this digitech 2 so you get project files with all the samples that were associated with that project and i still need to um yeah <laughs> clean that up basically so it's still a little bit of a mess but that is that is such a useful feature now if you messed up uh you can always undo see which is also very welcome because sometimes you delete something you don't want to delete and uh you know you can just redo and undo stuff so yeah compact items the sorting functions that sort of thing that is really the cherry on top of this tool and now that everything is quite neat so i can still you know clean this up as well a little bit like so and this list is also useless etc clean this up a little bit there we go and now i'm gonna send it back to the digitex so i'm gonna press send and then switch to my digitex so you can see what's happening send project and here we go so you can see receive pattern so it's basically overriding the current project the current uh, active project the only thing i need to <laughs> make sure of is that i don't quick save because it will save over the current active project and that's something you don't want, of course. But now you can see that um, I've got everything under control, basically. So I've got this. And I should have on bank C, rod. Oh yeah, it's still sort of loading, so these don't really... Yeah, these are sort of uh, sketches. It works, right? That is, it's just incredible. I, I really, really am grateful for the existence of this tool because it's it saves me so much time. And um, so let me switch over to this beautiful tool again. And again, I just want to emphasize, enjoy, have fun, 
Make Music by M Zero. He's from California and buy the dude a beer or a six pack rather and enjoy this tool. All right, so before I go, I need to do the mandatory click like if you like the video. Let me know in the comments if you enjoy this tool and what you would like to see added to the tool as well. I'm sure uh, Mark will be very interested in that. Hit subscribe if you like my content because it really, really helps and click the bell thingy to be notified when a new video pops up and...